We're working major developments in a story the Target 12 investigators broke first. We've uncovered a local lawmaker moonlighting for the city he represents. Tonight, the Warwick City Councilor admits he made $160 an hour cleaning up after Tropical Storm Irene. And now nearly $10,000 he received from the job is back in the city's bank account. Target 12 investigator Walt Uto first broke this story. He has the exclusive details in the newsroom. The Warwick City Solicitor investigated after a Target 12 investigation, and today Councilman Raymond Gallucci agreed to pay back the money. Mixed in with Warwick's $803,000 storm cleanup was a payment of almost $10,000 to City Councilman Raymond Gallucci, who operated his front-end loader for contractor C.P. Watson. Any questions from committee? The Democrat would not comment on camera about his reimbursement decision, but in this letter from Gallucci to Watson, obtained by Target 12, the councilman writes, quote, I was not aware of the city ordinance provision prior to the complaint being filed. The city solicitor cites Ordinance 16-3 that reads in part, no elected official shall knowingly receive compensation for any services with the city. Gallucci was a subcontractor for C.P. Watson, and after the councilman returned a $9,675 check to Watson this morning, the company repaid the city. A city spokesman tells us Woolwork now considers the matter closed, but since 75% of the cleanup cost was covered by FEMA, Warwick is now looking into how much money must be returned to the federal government. In his letter, Gallucci writes he was advised by an attorney that he did not violate that ordinance, but, quote, I believe that elected officials should not only avoid any impropriety, but also the appearance of impropriety. Neither C.P. Watson nor the city of Warwick would comment on this latest development. An attorney for the Rhode Island Ethics Commission tells us there are no pending charges or investigations involving Raymond Gallucci. With the Target 12 investigators in the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.